Welcome back, guys, to the number one show on the Five channel. That we have just hit 900k subscribers. It's no coincidence that I've been in here for three weeks and I've got them over the edge. Unnamed, we talk about whatever it is, whatever you want us to talk about, we go through it. Also, on a point on that, I saw you, Joel, Rio, in the picture of the celebration, and and I and I wasn't on it. I know you lot have been rattling around for 10 years just trying to get your subscribers up and I've been here five minutes and we're just, we're hitting peak numbers and I didn't even get on the picture. And everyone was celebrating. Yeah, yeah, well done. You make an excellent point. Thanks. And and is, I don't make the graphics, so. So complain to the graphic guy. Yeah. He'll cut this out like normal anyway. He's here now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why weren't I on the graphic? That's not me. Uh, so there's always someone else's fault. Someone you know, else's slopey fault. shoulders FC, this is. Right, so anyway, we like to talk... Why are we outside? Because we're a special at Stockport County, which is going to come out next week, and we are on location. They, we, they, now, because they believe in us a little bit, a small bit, they've let us out of the little, the little room. And, and sent us stuff. Give us a little bit of budget. And there's people behind the camera. We have people with us. It's yeah. not just me and you making it up now. Yeah. So we're legit. Yeah, legit. 900k. Congratulations, everyone, at five. Not well, to us. Mostly us. Mostly us. We like to go through a few things. Mm -hmm. Why was you late Lose today? Lose your head. Why was you late today? Forget that. Why was you late today? Cut to stop at Starbucks and go for number two. No, what was the real reason you was late? That's it. What did you stop for? A number two and a vegan sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what else do you want? Is this your bird's idea? It's, I, listen. We're not going down that route. We're going to. I just want to establish. No, it's not. It's I just me. Want to establish. I like. I like. I just like eating vegan. Okay. I would like to put it to the audience. Any of you that have ever gone vegan, has it ever been your idea? It was my idea. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. I don't make ideas for other people. Can you imagine if I was like, "Hey, Ash, this is right good centre half. He's vegan. Get him in. <laughs> Maybe put Paddock on the vegan diet." See how that works. One of our centre halves is vegan, actually. Well, exactly. Right, moments this week that have made you lose your head. Marnay style, anything. Yeah, my car insurance. Go on. It's got my car nicked, bank holiday weekend. Unfortunate. Yeah, keyless entry in it. I don't know if people know this, so I'm going to do a public service announcement. Get oh. a Faraday box. Get one of the little boxes that stops the signals because they just walk down your street with a thing and then they have a, a button and then whichever indicators this flash. This is educational. It's Bosch. educational as well. And then the cars down the street, targeted though, because they found my number plates on the next street underneath a van. And you lost your head? Well, I didn't. Because I actually didn't lose my head that much about the car going, because it's insured, right? So I'm with a very well-known dog-based um, <laughs> insurance company. Oh, yes. Right? So I'm like, they're a big one. They've got adverts. They're on the telly. They must be all right. So they say, right, okay, we're going to send an engineer out to you. They'll be there in four weeks. Why are you sending an engineer out? But there's no car. What's he going to do, Ash? You're going to walk here and go, <laughs> you could definitely fit a car there, yeah. <laughs> are you serious? So I was like, patiently waiting. Sent what? A, I, sent, I sent a couple of emails. Yeah. Some of them have been one finger typed as well. Am I getting a courtesy car or what? It's my policy. Where's my courtesy car? Eventually get through to someone and they say, courtesy cars are only for while your car's in repairs. So okay, what about when a car's stolen? Because I ain't got a car anymore. I'm supposed to do all of the things I need to so do. So how did you get here today? Uber. I've been, I've been in times. Ubers like a mofo. It's tough week. times. So they're like, well, we can give you a car. But I don't even know the name. Something Kia, something two-seater, something could probably fit it in my rucksack. <laughs> How am I supposed to manage my life in that? Kia's a fine car if you drive one, honestly. Just ignore him. He's always like this. You remember? Not the ones that the I can comments, fit in a rucksack, The though. comments say, Steen needs to light No, it's up. not I'm about the Kia. I'm, it's I'm about the size. I have a big car. I fill it with You look like Bowser balls. on Mario Kart. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> At the sunroof. <laughs> I love seeing you pull up in a little Kia out here. <laughs> I would. Because it's not even come yet. So yeah, I, I might have, <coughs> might have lost my melon a little bit. Send the engineer bit. and Mane in. Boom, boom. <laughs> Just a quick one. Boom. So go on, on the, on the Mane and Sane thing. I mean, <coughs> we're getting into the, Ash, you're a bit of a bell in the changing room by the sounds of things. 
And you keep doing this every no, week. No, no, you keep doing this. No, no, you keep doing it. You walked it. through the door at Stoke and was like, I hate you, to Darren Fletcher. Yeah, but I didn't like who's him. Who's a lovely well, individual. Why, did, why does that class me as a melon? Uh, because then the other five or six instances of you say trying to wait you out think. Say, for... Say what you think, innit? So I know... Say what you see. You've mané sané somebody in training. Couple. Name them. Um... I'll, g- I'll give you one story which which comes to mind, right? So we, had, we was at Swansea and we we had a lot of Spanish players, right? And then a lot of Brits. So it was two. There was just two squads, and we didn't not get on with them. Clicky. No, yeah, yeah, but the, so we was we got on with them, right? But there was so, the season weren't going well. Gary Monk was manager, and it was just getting niggly, right? And we couldn't play for anything. So we went. Someone offered you a bit of ham on, and you went fucking no, no chance. No, listen, we couldn't. Try to take you out for a treat though, and you fucking lost your nappy. Listen, six weeks left. He's called a meeting in the morning. He goes, listen, I can feel a bit of tension, and it wasn't like span. It was just a bit. They were sitting over there. We was here. Blah blah. blah. He went, listen, it's getting niggly. We, we got nothing on it. Let's just give it. Be professional to the end of the season. None. Of, I don't want to hear any more of this like arguments and whatever. So today we'll have a bit, a bit of a fun day. We're not going to talk too much about what we're doing. Three 20-minute games, jobs are good. And after three minutes, I'm chasing Angel Rangel down the, <laughs> all the way down the pitch to try and bang him out. Right? <laughs> and he's my mate as well, but it just kicked off like that. So everyone calm that one down. Go and get a drink. We've just spoke what about this. What top Barkley's name as well, though, isn't it? Angel Rangel. Yeah, yeah, great. And he was a good lad, good player. Chased him down the pitch to bang him out. What did he do? Um, he, he let the winger cross it and then he shouted back at me. They didn't even score, it went out the other side. He shouted something at me, I shouted stop the oh, cross. Oh, it's on your team? Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. So we're, we're swinging on each other, so we stop it, we have a drink. And uh, it's like, lads, I just told Gary Monk's like, I just told you to, to not do that. Yeah, fine, sorry. I'm gonna shake hands, everything. He's my mate, I've known him for years. Kick off, so we start again. Next thing you know, over in the other corner, John Joe Shelby's throwing blows at Alvaro Vasquez. <laughs> Like three minutes later, yeah. Well, I stop. I have a drink again, lads. What are we doing? I said, John Joe, what are you doing? Alvaro, why are you two fighting now? Don't even really know. Whatever. Start playing again. Cole Bartley and uh, ah, what's his name? Pozuelo kicks off, and Gary Monk just went. You know what? Just go in. <laughs> just go in because you's like, you like you can't stop fighting each other. So it's not that unusual. There's been a couple. A couple of times in the dressing room. I had a couple in this dressing room as well, a couple of fights in here. But you got to understand, coming from non-league, it was every week. It was at half-time, you have a fight, and then you just go back out, win the game, and you, you get on with it. So I don't think it's Hang that on. unusual. <laughs> I think that's a bit more unusual than you're painting it, surely. It wasn't for me. Like, I just thought it was normal. So if, you're, if I've got something to say to you and you come back at me, well, we'll have a fight about it. But it doesn't mean I don't like you. <laughs> Do you no? <laughs> Does it sound weird, do you think? Let us know in the comments. You don't want to fight every day at work, weird. If you, if you, if you, work, an office, if you work an office job and you pop up out your cubicle and you go, Stan, I needed that, those papers that you haven't given me. And he goes, do one, mate. Leave the cubicle. You stick one on him and I bet the papers come back. I bet he, get, I bet he faxes it off and gives it you straight away. We used to have a little garage when I was in the army. And we used to have big 24 ounce boxing gloves, and if you had a, a tear up, you had to go in the garage. But it, two, three times a With year. With the gloves on? Yeah, wasn't too often, though. Did you get yourself in there? Me? Yeah. No, not really. Surprising. Wasn't that. me. Do you know what it was? There was a little guy. He was called Mark, but his nickname was Harry, which developed to Harry the Bastard, which is the best nickname the world's ever seen, right? And he was about that big. And we had this big fella from Sunderland called Morby, who looked like a Yeti. He was enormous, right? And it was them two all the time. There was like a 14 stone so weight difference. They just wanted to go at it. They just had it what all about, the time. Did Harry the Bastard do him? Murdered him. Love absolutely it. murdered him. Not just a problem. Absolutely stuck one on him every single time. Not Shout a out problem. Harry the what, Bastard. What, what do you think about. What do you think of. Uh, sorry, I didn't see the game because I was away, but what, why did they. Why did they have a. Why did it kick off? Oh, no. do we, we don't know. No. He just popped his lip. Don't mind it. And he did it in private. I don't mind it. So what? The two, the two grown men that wanted to sort something out. Football's a tribal sport anyway. Things happen. How Things often do you reckon in, in the average professional dressing room are we seeing... Now? Yeah. I couldn't tell you. I don't think it happens that much. You think, well, it's probably why stuff, go, money, gets, like, stuff happens and continues to happen so it doesn't get nipped in the bud. I wouldn't mind if someone stuck it on me in the dressing room and went, do your job. And we had a little what, right. set to. Coming from where you came from, that had to have happened, especially because you were so young. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. In non-league, I was 17, and I, I grew up seeing it. 
and it be it would be every like four or five games fight. And someone was sticking it on you at seventeen as well. Do you remember Kevin Francis played yeah. here at Stockport, six foot seven, sharpest elbows in the world. I used to have to train against him, six seven, and he just let me have it, but on purpose. And he then he tell me like, well done. Blood down here, my eyes like my eyes swollen up like that, and he'd be like, well done, someone. well done, youngin. <laughs> but it was good for me. Do you know what I mean? And then. In the dressing room, it would be, it's like, do your job or else I'm going to kick off on you, which I think is acceptable. I was chatting to uh, Matty Willock, didn't manage to make a debut at United um, the other day, and he was talking about coming through at United, and he says, well, it's all development, 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 and he said when he got into the first team, he goes, the switch to realise this is a job now, he said, and the attitude of people about this is being a job, he's like, if you... You know, he goes, if you mess up a pass in the youth team training, people are kind of like, you'll get the next one. He goes, whereas well, you mess up a pass in first team training uh, and people well, just... Yeah, it's like this. It's like this. If you, if you, I took it as like, if you're on the opposite team or in my team and you're, if you're in my team, you're not doing your job and you're taking food off my family's table, so that ain't happening. So, so just do your job. Do you know what I mean? I would expect it back like, as well. Like, give it me back because... I'm, like this is what I think sometimes we forget as fans, pundits, people watching from the outside. It matters to them. Yes, they might have a lot of money. They could get a lot more money if they win. Do you know what I mean? So it, it, there's something on it more than just the enjoyment of winning or the pride of winning. Also, this is their livelihood. This is their jobs. This is their families' futures. And it, and it matters. So, yeah, sometimes things happen in dressing rooms, fights happen, and it just is what it is. It's not, I don't think it's that big a deal. There's a perception isn't it, that the, the players don't care, I think, especially in the Prem. It's seen as, I don't know why, but people seem to have this perception that Championship League one players care more than they do in the do Prem. Do they have that perception? I think there's a perception. I don't think it's real, but I think there's a perception. I think there's a perception that because they're so well paid, they don't care if they lose. Well, do you think someone, that's the case well, or not? someone that played through all of them leagues, I can tell you that I cared equally as much, if not more, in the Prem because it's such a big event. You, you pull up on match day, how can you not care? And I know, covering games, it looks like he don't care. But, that, but that's that's but what I'm saying, must, it's the perception. It because I've played there and it's like, you, you're, you, you're, you're 40,000, 50,000 people in the stadium. You know it's a spectacle, do you know what I mean? And you know everyone's watching around the world or you know later on in the day. Your family's up there, your friends are up there. A lot of knobheads on a Monday are going to have something to say about yeah, it on a podcast. Care. And also... Subscribe. Get us to a mill. Please get to the mill quick so I can ramp this up. And if I'm not on the million picture, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. There it is. We are, sorry. Are we? You do multiple shows. See, see what happens. Okay. Um, ne- nearly contract negotiation time. Yeah, so well, you, I, I do think that the players care. They, um, they have to care because it, it means... I can't speak for all players. I'd say the majority. The fact that they're in the Prem means they care. More, they cared more than someone else to beat that challenge of all these players that are trying to get to the Prem. And then, yes, it does look like some people don't care when you get one two at full-back and don't bother to run back. But, you know, on the whole, I think players do care. So everybody cares, even Trent. <laughs> Alright, maybe Trent, maybe, maybe Trent. Can't definitely say he does. There's a couple of people we can't get through. We can't, we can't do an episode without getting through. Trent's one of them. Ashley Young, he cared. He cared, okay? Yo, he did care. Yeah. Oh, he absolutely cared. And I the- care though, Ash. <laughs> and the levels, no, never mind. How was your mate doing this week? Oh, how I've, did he I've do this week? You, I've seen oh my messages. God, what is it? Three <laughs> wins in 17. Ash, I'm gonna blow my own trumpet. I'm a better manager than Frank Lampard. Oh, massive call. Massive. What would you do then? Quick, and not the long version, the short one. What would you do if you was in with that team? I'm going to try and find someone four, who can play four, up front. Four, two, back to basics. To not necessarily. Not necessarily. Would you play Mudrick? Yeah, he's a player. Has to start. Yeah, no? he's a player, yeah. I, don't, I think it's a no-brainer. Has yeah. to start. I don't get why he's not. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do like a proper elimination thing in training. And you just, if you have a shit game oh, in training, yeah, like we're going to start, because they've got 900 players, right? So we're just going to spend three days and we're just going to go, right, you lot on the pitch, anytime you fuck up, you're off. And we'll be left Zing with 11. Ball out of play, yeah. in you go. Off. And then we'll be left with 11, and then you lot start on Saturday. 
it's real, it's real basic what you're saying, but it can't be any worse, can it? It literally can't be worse, can it? Do you think Frank's gone and tried to be everyone's friend a little bit? It, Too friendly? Maybe. And I don't know if that's the move. When you're a temporary manager like that, because Ollie had a weird one. Ollie came in, put his arm around people, but then got that mad winning streak, which then got him the job. And people are sort of comparing this to what Lampard's going doing or what someone else going and doing. And it's not the same because there was no... Ch well, for starters, Frank was never going to get 13 wins. I mean, even getting 13 shots is, is a bit hard work, I think, for him. So I think if he'd have gone in, He's already been there, so you can't... What's the new message? They'll be like, we already got you sacked once, mate. I mean, we spoke about it a couple of weeks ago. I don't get it. Um, I don't know what he can do. What can he do? Like you say, he's not going to win all the games. No. So what can he do? They've already heard a message and didn't like it, so he can't even come in with something fresh. They might have been better getting, like, Ashley Cole or John Terry in if they were going to go down but that My route. point is, is, let's all be honest, Todd wants it, so just take it. To the end of the season. That's what he wants, he's isn't it? For it? He's played. He's he's had footy manager since he was a kid, like all of us. <laughs> and he's like, I got some ideas. Apparently, he's in the dressing room every game. Where'd you stand on that? Owner oh, no, coming I've in. I've had it. I don't mind. I don't mind it so much. I think it's just that I respect. Normally, you respect your chairman and you shake his hand and he says, "Well done," or "Let's go again next week." And the fact that he takes time. Normally, the fact he takes time to come down and just show his face is normally appreciated. Do you get that vibe that it's showing my face and being appreciated with Todd Bowley? Because I don't. No, but he's just on a mad one. Yeah. He's on a mad one. He, I'm, any, any point now, uh, we could get a buzz. Lamps is gone. Todd's in. Yeah. He's oh. got himself with a scar. Mad he, man. He's, at the moment, he's at home Googling UK soccer regulations. <laughs> Can I become, what do they Ted call Lasso. it? No, what do they call it? Head coach. <laughs> He's, he's on a mad one. Anything could happen. Anything could happen with Chelsea. Moving on. Question for you. Would you rather... Oh. It's not a this or that, but it, would you rather oh, no, finish third and win a trophy or be first for the whole season and finish second? As I said to our friend Joel, if you're top for 37 weeks, and second for I one. I enjoyed that message when that come through. Yeah, I think I'll press like on that. Something, <laughs> 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 lad. Where's the, where the little trophy? It don't bring it. Does it come on the road? If you're 37 games, top of the league, and second for one of them, you get nothing. You get a handshake, and you get an attaboy at the end of the season. But that's it. Ultimately, if you come third and win a trophy, I remember when they were winning trophies and Spurs were finishing above them and, and Johnny won an FA Cup a couple of times a bit ago and didn't stop going on about it, right? <laughs> they was calling out Spurs for, oh, you finished above... It's about, football's about winning things, but now they're in the other... It's yeah, the other way around. Yeah. It's all about where you finish in the league. And I admit, the league is the bread and butter. But second and third is... And what? You're both the other side of the guy that won it on the podium. That's it. Can you imagine... Can you imagine? You know, like we haven't re we haven't had a guest on this show yet. No. But I'm going to put a request in. Oh, like it. That we don't have one. Oh. Unless or until Arsenal finish second and we can bring Joel in <laughs> as our first guest. I've got so many questions. I'll have so many questions for him. He needs to book his holidays in now. He needs a six month. -er. Yeah, because he's even got right. Listen, if I'm in Joel's shoes now. I'm going to book a holiday. And we know guy's got deals coming out of his ass. He could go and get a Dubai <laughs> one tomorrow, I'm sure, right? <laughs> he needs to go and get one of them box right off for like May through June, right? Because if he wins, celebration. Don't bother me. Sunglasses on, by the pool. Earn it, right? Send a little voice message in for the podcast and me and Rio have to sit there giving him praise in his absence. Or disappear, turn your phone off. That's the move. Well, we saw what happened that, that week when they lost to City. Disappeared, turned his phone off for 48 hours. We had to send a rescue team. So I can only imagine. Losing the league. And I think after, that, listen, after these I, eulogy to I'm Man gonna, United fans. I'm, oh, listen, I'm, and I'm going to say it again, and I mean it, right? I like Arsenal as a football club. I don't dislike them. Honestly, a grown up used to love watching them and everything. Just for entertainment purposes, I want it to happen. Yeah. To see the meltdown. That's it. I it's see funny. loads of people going, as if Steve's supporting City. Do you think I'm supporting City? Or is this a large dose of copium, right? No. <laughs> we know what's going on at City. But what's the funniest thing that could happen? Because I will I will go with something funny rather than the best thing that could happen. Uh, all day. Because you know that's the I chaos. Is? I just want to see that game where it falls apart. 
Joel outside the stadium it's with next his backpack weekend, on. Isn't it? <laughs> Joel outside the stadium with his backpack on. Just need to see it. Big blubs. I just need to see. I'm going to be focused in <laughs> what to <laughs> In fact, I'm going with him. I'm going with him as Be a cameraman. Support. Yeah, cameraman or something. Like I'll hold the mic for him. I just need to see it. And cut. <laughs> yeah, so- I don't, do I want City to win the league? No, because I know one of the questions that you're going to ask is, Arsenal win the league or City win the treble? Mate, I'm down there in the clock end. Let's go, Gunas. Let's have it. Are you mad? No. However... So in the middle of all the, of Arsenal had a better season finishing second and winning jack shit, some City fan was like, are you saying that if Madrid beat City, we don't win the FA Cup and Arsenal win the league, you've had a better season than City? That's exactly what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> if you win nothing, people who won something have had a better... I, I can't believe I've got to explain that. But what, let's, we, you know what the mad thing is, and I have to say this, we are talking a lot, like Arsenal are second now, they're not second. They are with the bookies, and I think there's a couple of places like Opta. Um, what's the Opta? Opta analyst have got it's like 53 percent in favour of City at the moment. Really? It's fine margins. Yeah, because again, I'll go back to like six weeks ago. We're all waiting. We're just waiting for Arsenal to do yeah. to, to, to just implode. Yeah. They might not this time. Look, if City end up with doing a free peat, I'm just going to ignore it or pretend that they cheated. Yeah, and City, listen. We just don't want them to do a treble. Listen, City. No matter what. City, we are do you think City aboard. are going to win Champions League? I think you're mad if you think they can. Yeah, they I absolutely think, can. Yeah, they, they can. They absolutely can. And, yo, know, how many do you know roles what's weird? Now, let me get? ask you another question. So, you're a United fan. You, you told me I had to. United. No, no it's, it's not. not it's, it's, United. There's, there's no T in United. United. Yeah, there you go. Get, so, in, can get I, in there. Can I come it's to the game with you? It's certainly not you. How then? Yeah. Yeah, night, Ed. Yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, night, Ed. <laughs> no, not Ed. <laughs> Ed. What then? Ed. Jesus Christ, man. How long you lived in Manchester? You've not got the accent down. Oh, sorry, I'm not from here. Anyway, you're you're a Man U fan. Uh, you're gonna get told off. You're in a. Oh, jeez, you're a Man United fan. United you, you fan. taught me that. United. Yeah, he's taught me. It's I United. Apologize. It's United. United. Uh, that's the scout. <laughs> <laughs> well, what part of Birkenhead that was from? Listen, anyway, let's get back to the topic. What was the topic? The topic is, you're in a difficult position because you've had a good season. You should be happy, real happy. Won something. Third, probably, in the league. Ten args at the wheel. Settled down. It's all good. What a trophy. Could win two more. Your best mate is going to win the league and then your rivals are going to win the Champions League and all sorts. Where do you sit on that? Must hurt a little bit. Oh, absolutely. So what we're going to do is just deflect on Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think of them. Go. You've got Liverpool and Chelsea <laughs> fighting it out to try and get 10th. There's always someone to just go at. Yeah. Don't worry about us. Don't, uh, wor- don't worry about us. So we just ignore the Arsenal City situation. Yeah. What are Liverpool doing? Yeah, What's I'd, happened to them? Let's talk centre-halves as well, actually, because this has been a really interesting topic. We, you obviously was in Greece last week. In fact... How was Greece? Lovely. Yeah. Better than it. Out there with football escapes, coaching kids? Yep. Coaching kids, it was a nice holiday. Um, Any of them proper Don't know what shit? else you can... Any of them like spin around and look at the sky and that? Or no, or play a bit? no. They started like that, but then after a week of my coaching... Oh, it's like that, is it? Yeah, they was top Magic draw. Magic touch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, top okay. draw. Well, it was a good week, yeah, thank you. It was a nice, I had a nice week. Um, hence why we didn't do the biggest show on, on the channel, because I was away. But um, centre half, yeah. So. so Jamie Carragher's come out and f- ran- just a random stray flung at Nemanja Vidic. Stray shot, yeah. Can I just say, Nemanja Vidic, by the way, they all, the, the whole shape of the argument is Vidic, uh, sorry, Van Dijk came into a Liverpool team that was gash. And then he on his own made them amazing. That's their, that's their argument, right? And by amazing, I mean they won a, a single title and didn't defend it. He also did come at the same time as, or in the similar time as, you know, Mane. Lots of Salah, really good players. Allison. Yeah. Fabino. You know, some serious footballers also joined at the same time. So their whole crux is, well, he took us from, they were like fourth, yeah? To 
to being contenders. Second and first. Yeah. Got, and then second so and so then what's the point here? What's the point that we're getting to about Van Dijk? Nemanja Vidic came to a Manchester United side, right? Because the, that whole argument is United was winning. United wasn't winning. We'd won one title in five years prior to Vidic joining. This is the Jose Mourinho era. This is Arsenal's Dribblot era. This is the... You know, the era where United had fell off, really. This is the time when people are, are writing articles saying Sir Alex Ferguson doesn't know what he's doing anymore and, and United should get Sven Goran Eriksson. Mm-hmm. I remember those articles. We bring Vidic in. Probably wrote a couple of stuff. Yeah. This doesn't... No. Not, I, All right, I, carry on. Yeah, yeah. Do you know why? Just, draw, just throwing it out do you know, I'll, I'll tell you why. And I stand by this to this day. To this day, right? When United won the league in 93, my old man said something that I've just stuck with. Uh, that is a rule now. And when Fergie won the league, he said he can stay here forever now. And I think if you win the league, certainly the Premier League, with a club, you stay there as long as you've earned that. You so Arteta stay. can stay then after this season? Well, no, because he's not going to win the league. Oh, OK. But if you win a league somewhere, then it's on your terms now. Yeah. It should be. That's why it never sat right with me what happened with Claudio Ranieri and mm-hmm. you know, various other managers Others, that have won yeah. the league. So I was never like that. you just got to let it ride and see what happens. Manny Vidic comes in in 2006, right? Then he goes on and in his first, he does six months where he's getting used to it, doesn't he? Because he was a bit shit, if you remember. I don't remember that, but carry on. Then we do a three-peat immediately. That he also includes winning the Champions League. Then we miss out on a title by a Drogba being two metres offside. That didn't get called. Not boss. Then we win the league. Mm -hmm. Then we draw it. Then we win the league again. Rain man, you're coming like rain man. Then we have David Moyes. Yeah. And then he fucks off. So he was Aguero shinning it into the crowd and a, a correct offside decision being given away from winning seven titles on the bounce. And they want to talk about impact. What's the, what's, what are you trying to get at? Two when you player give, of the years instead from of giving us Instead of giving us the history of United, right, what are you trying to get at? I'm are getting at. Are you say, asking me who's better, Vidic or Van Dijk? No, I'm getting out there that... People are trying to downplay the impact of Nemanja Vidic. This doesn't look good on Rio, who? by the way. Hit Rio? No. No, but who Tariga said and everybody else in the world. Well, why would you want to do that? Because that's what they do. He was an absolutely unbelievable centre half. And he was better than Van Dyke. You think he was? Yeah, I do, yeah. He was unbelievable. Why who's play, who's downplaying it? Well, Carragher for Well, he was better than Carragher. Well, and yeah, he was, he was better, better than me. He was very good. <laughs> he was a good centre half. Top notch, top draw. In my opinion, part of the best centre half pair in the, in the Premier League. My opinion, which I'm allowed. I also think it was. Which is Phil Jones and Vidic. <laughs> I hey. think Real Vidic are the, are the uh, a second and third best centre halves this league seen. Second and. <coughs> oh, okay, so Yapstam, Ronnie Johnson, second. <laughs> no, no, they're second and third. In terms of partnership, they're number one. But they're the second and third best centre halves. Because. Yaps, Ronnie Johnson was great. Oh, we are doing Yapstam again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yaps, it's not but Yapstam was, know, Yapstam was like it, a, a are mash. Are you being serious? I'm serious, serious. I'm, I'm still, like, but is it a running joke with you? or are you, Is it deadly? What, why yeah. is it a running I joke? I don't know. I don't Did know. you not watch it? Do I need to educate you on Yapstam? I've never heard anyone ever in the history of football go, Do you know why? the best. Because if he was English, they'd have had fucking documentaries on him pulling a pud about him. <laughs> they would, wouldn't they? You know any English player that's played in the Premier League that Would didn't play for United? better than Vidic? Oh, yeah. It, well, by account of the fact he's the best centre-half that's played in the Premier League, yes. By a long way. He was a mash of what Rio and Vidic could do. He had the speed and, and the ball-playing ability of Rio. Because and he you, had that murder-you sort of aspect that Vidic had as well. Because you're talking about Yapstam again and my mm. brain's getting a bit fuzzy with the nonsense, right? <laughs> are you saying Rio and Vidic are the best centre-back pair in the Premier League scene? Yes. Okay, I agree. Over Terry Carvalho, Terry yeah. Ivanovic. And, and let's call it Carvalho or Terry, and let's give the proper due to Carvalho, because he was the one that was really doing the, the heavy lifting. Yeah, he was a good player. There was, there was both good players. But Arsenal centre-backs, greats. Sol Campbell, Tony Adams. Did they play together? Did they play together? No. Tony Adams, Steve It'd Bold. Keon, wasn't it? Keon. Keon. And Keon. I mean, Tour- I don't like Tour- Keon. Torre and Campbell. Colo, Rash. It's not the same though, is it? No. Done and dusted. Do you see, see Keon, Keon was good. It's just horrible, isn't it? <laughs> but I think you need I a bit. I work of with him. And? 
I'll put all my do you know what? co-presenters do you, do you into the positions. Do you, you not see Real with his mate last week on BT? Do you, uh, do you want to know? <laughs> do you want to know what what Keown gets points for? Probably the only thing is the, the Van Nistelrooy. Yeah, there's a bit of grit about him, isn't there? It was a celebration. Yeah, shit house for his yeah. finest, mate. Of Who does so. that, Mr. Pem? And you, choke, you get him in a choke. <laughs> Let him know. I, I, I obviously don't like it, but I can appreciate the shit I was real levels. Who does that? <clears throat> he, he misses the pen and you jump up on him and get an arm a little, a little choke WWE style. I can't wait till we get back to them levels of, of just elite sort of United versus Arsenal. Oh, we won't though. Not think. No, because I'll tell you why we won't do that. As much as I like Arsenal, Who's having a tear up in the tunnel? Granite, but he's already been sent off, so that's that's done. Oh, Ben White's kicking off. Gabriel. Gabriel. I can hear whispers of Gabriel. Don't make me put out in public what happened with him this week. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! It's going off in the tunnel with Rob Holden and Ben White. <laughs> oh my, that's nuts. It's not Keen Vieira, is wow. it? Wow. <laughs> to be fair, United have got a few now, though. Like you think, yeah. Mm. Martin has steam in there. A bit more steely. Yeah. I could see Party giving him a quick box, Martin has in him, him in the deck, but... I think he'd bite you, though. At the ankle? Yeah, I think he's going to be in off. your eyes. Party's just shaking Yeah, I, I, don't think, I don't think he fights clean, me, Martin has, and I like that. Fair enough. Right, so we asked on the old Twitter thing, the public, because you are the secret producers of this show. What topics have sent you west this week, I asked. Players hugging in the tunnel before they go on the pitch. Don't, they don't like it. No, well, someone's asking. What do you think? Um, you ever cuddle anyone before going on the pitch? No, I didn't. But I, I'm not against it so much. I'm not. I don't go that far. I don't think we need a cuddle. We can need a handshake if it's your pal. Good luck and done. That's Someone said detailed top. rank, detailed Ash, top ten centre backs in the Premier League era. So we did touch on that. I've said it's Yapstam. You've not actually said who you think. Yapstam don't make the ten. We can. Let's move on. Yap stands coming in about 17. I don't know if I'm going to be able to move on from this. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yap yeah, stands coming in just we after Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? And now you're both pissed off with me. <laughs> Go on. Why do people keep giving Lampard a job? Have you What's, seen he keeps... my... What's this one? Upper Meccano being City's best player with two legs. He had a stinker, didn't he? Upper Meccano. Do you know what? He's that guy that I just want it to do well. Do you, I don't know why. But do you know, know what? what I mean? Yeah, but it's just like a little bit of kryptonite with City in it. Ah, oh, but it's just a slip at the wrong time. I'm like, you're waiting for him to do something. I silly. had every old Bayern Munich were going to do it, Ash. And nah, no chance. Once they, had all them, once they had that flurry of chances that they should, Sarni had that one, which I can't believe he didn't tuck in the bottom corner. They had a couple of other ones, and then you just knew. I think as a player as well, you know sometimes we, we've lost, that's it, gone. Well, we talk about Rio's mate going in and absolutely bollocking up Chelsea. Tommy Tits has gone into Bayern Munich and not want to fucking throw him, I don't think. Tommy Tits. Someone would like to hear wild stories from the Whales uh, squad drunken shenanigans. Didn't, we didn't. There isn't any. Next. Oh, we'll do a whole episode. One week, we'll do a whole episode Sensational. of Wild Drunk Stories. Link Ash to the Cup Winners Cup. <laughs> 991 Cup Winners Cup. So, Link Ash to the 991 Cup Winners Cup. Ash played for Wales. The winners of the Welsh Cup in 1990 was... Someone from Wales. No. It was an English team. But Wrexham lost in the final, which is why Wrexham got put into the Cup Winners' Cup. Wrexham faced Manchester United in the 1991 Cup Winners' Cup. And there we go. Do you want to know what's weird about this? Do you want me to tell you something? He's reading these questions for the first time. So this <laughs> is off the top, off the dome. Mad stats in there. It's not just all Tom shit says, in there. Do other fans notice how much the media is constantly having a tug about Liverpool or are United fans sensitive towards it? You're sensitive towards everything, mate. Okay. And I do. Levy trying to build Kane a statue to bribe him to stay. Are they doing that? Levy trying to build Kane a statue. Well, they might as well. Because if I'm Kane, I'm off skis. Gonzo. But by the same rule, like, who else can fuck with him in a Tottenham shirt? It's him and Jimmy Greaves, isn't it? 
Yeah. Uh, don't know. They've had some good players, but on that point, I keep getting, I keep getting asked, if you're Kane, would you leave? I'm out now. I'm out now, not playing the last couple. For what? For People what? want us to talk I'm about. I'm Harry Kane. Yeah. I'm Harry Kane, and I and I go down with a claw in the eye. Roll. But I'm <laughs> Harry Kane, and I want to win. He's won less than you, right? Has he? But he's won. He's won nothing. So. So yeah. I mean, has he never won nothing? Should we? Uh, Harry Kane's had a really good career, better than mine. We all know that. I don't get all excited about it, but I have won the League Cup, so <laughs> he's technically right. And you, if I was, why don't you just go, get off? We well, tried, off. didn't he? Tried to sign the City. Oh. Can you imagine he'd have had a Premier League title by now? Might have even had a Champions League title by he now. He could go anywhere he wants and get the service, of, but he's staying and getting baggy balls off Longlet every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing? I suppose doomed. I suppose doomed to just, just be weird. forever. I don't know. Never going to win anything. I think it's like with Spurs, they must have just thought, what's happening? Not much. Look at our mates down the road. They're a circus. We'll top them. If we can't <laughs> beat them at something, we'll be more of a, a circus show. And that's hard we'll work. We'll be worse. Arsenal's at a high bar. Mostly yeah. with the fans. If I had to say Bell and Tottenham fans, doesn't really fit, does it? They're just sort of normal. But if you was to say... I mean, I'm not going to go there. I like Arsenal. There's like a whole... I like Arsenal and their fan base. Of them. At least it's entertaining. Weekend preview. Your boys. Yep. Shitting yourself, ain't you? Be honest, be honest. Going to cause you all sorts of problems, ain't they, Brighton? All sorts. Brighton are mega, and I don't know why. How well run are Brighton? I thought you was a tactics man. You pride yeah. yourself on tactics. No, but it's not just the tactics, because the tactics one thing. But they've the been execution. successful across two totally different sort of styles. I mean, not totally, but like quite different sort of managerial styles in Potter and De Zerbe. Like, De Zerbe's come in and just implemented this whole new way of playing out and everyone's gone, can we all do that? That's fucking mint. Yeah. Like, but it's not just that. It's like they will sell their best player every six months. They're doing what Dortmund did, but in England. I didn't think that was possible. They buy yeah, someone the in for nothing, good, flip him for a good. load of dough and go, cool, we got six more in the academy. Crack yeah. on. Who else you want to buy? So back to the actual question, you, you're not confident? I'm, I'm certainly never be overconfident. Semi-final, there's a goal in it. You're not talking 3-4-0 either way. It's 2-1, 1-0. Couple tight. of injuries. They're going to pull, pull yeah, you United about. They're going to pull you about over the, the park. The good thing with them is, I think United come in the midf midfield battle. Because oh. that midfield looks good. Did you not cover United against Forest on, the other day? I've covered it. Oh, the midfielder United. It was good job, it? It was the fucking back It was on. lovely. Don't, do have to be negative? This is what the people are saying. Why is Steve so negative all I'm the time? Realistic. Oh, you, you got that midfield performance and you would talk about right, the yeah, back four. Okay. Yeah, the midfield performance. Oh, it was like, do you know what it was How, like? How's Christian Eriksen able to basically die, joke. come back and joke. be as good as he was he's for Brentford, joke. then get injured and come back? Is he just made of some sort of substance we don't know? About. It's like it's like an under 18s team playing against an under 8 in that midfield on Sunday. Honestly, they were just Popsville. It was there was in, and I, I liked seeing players enjoying quality. themselves. No, you, and it they was knew quality. They was enjoying it. Yeah. There was like we can we have got the run of this, and it weren't for Forest being poor. It was just. They no, couldn't get near him. Mate, it's a Steve Cooper team. You're working hard. That's the first thing the, on that No board. one could get near him. Ericsson is just. Oh, Bruno. He's good. And Br well, Bruno now he's decided that he's going to hold the ball a little bit. There's something there. Control no? the tempo. Yeah. Him, Casemiro, and Ericsson's mega. And you would think that's a bit attacking, isn't it? But it ain't. For nah. some reason, it kind of works. Yeah, because they, they control it. Yeah. That's us. Wrapped so, this week. Another episode. It's big man, in the can. Here's the thing. If we get through Brighton, no disrespect to Sheffield United, it's City in a final, isn't it? Imagine Sheffield United pull it out on, on City. Can you see that? Is anyone I mean, as a neutral, I would, I would, I would like Man United against Sitter. And they do, yeah. I understand that. No, not let's not I, I, do, that. I do think they do, Because, do you just know, saying, just saying. my heart rate in a City United FA Cup... Jay. Jay. <laughs> Jay? Hash. Ashley <laughs> Cole one week, Jay the next. <laughs> do you know what my heart rate is going to be doing in that game? The whoop will be going off the chart, won't it? 
it's going to be 200 beats per minute for 90 minutes plus extras. And especially like when your centre halves aren't back and they slip it down the side and Erling's just got Maguire on the wrong side. Where are you at? No, there, you say he's on the wrong side. Maguire doesn't even know he's on the pitch. Maguire's like, oh, Viking. And then, and then he gets past Maguire, but you got another centre back, so you're like, oh, it's all right. Oh, it's Victor. And then. Yeah. Arm comes across. Come on, Brighton. <laughs> <laughs> Given the choice right now, go out to Brighton or lose to them divs in the final. Well, would, would you take that? Would you take the Brighton? If I know we're losing to City, if I know we're going in there with Aaron Maguire fixing his fucking hair with every mistake. Unconfident. After that, after that performance that I saw last weekend, just with that midfield, I feel, thought you'd come in here today with your chest out and say, we've got it. What, I look like an Arsenal fan? <laughs> I think so. Not like Joel every Monday. No. Hashtag dot realism. <laughs> like, no. No. Anyway. I, I, losing to City in a final will be minging, especially with having the face I've got. City fans, not my biggest fans, I would say. Don't like you. Don't no. know why. No. So that's going to be a fun trip home from Wembley, isn't it? Train back, Green Street. I'd stay over. Anyway, that was this. Um, there might be an extra segment going in this, but we haven't filmed it yet, so we'll find out. And you know we make it up as we go, so thanks for watching again.